The market for marijuana is growing nationwide. Even here in Texas, there are legal forms of cannabis now. And new at 10 o'clock, Andrea Lucia shows us how some new technology is helping police track down people who may be driving impaired. 213 traffic. Officer Daniel Basili. You don't have anything on you? All sorts of stuff back here. You are under arrest. Patrols Grand Prairie after dark. Something about nights brings out a different crowd of people than during the day. Hello. With an eye out for intoxicated drivers. You got your driver's license approved insurance on you? Alcohol is the biggest culprit. You're shaking like a leaf while I'm talking to you. But sometimes... You go up there, the car smells like marijuana. They're having trouble understanding what I'm saying. In the past year, blood samples analyzed by the Texas Department of Public Safety's Crime Lab have found more than 2,300 drivers in the state positive for THC, the chemical in marijuana that gets you high. What's the giveaway? First off, the odor. Bloodshot eyes, slurred speech sometimes. So it's comparable to dealing with a drunk driver? Yes. Police will perform roadside sobriety tests. With alcohol, there's also the option of using a breathalyzer. So this is the THC concentration. UT Dallas's bioengineering students are working on a similar device to test for THC. This is truly a breakthrough novel technology. A sample of saliva can tell you not just if someone's ingested THC, but how much? You stick it in your mouth, you take it out, and you put it on a sensor, and within 30 seconds, within a minute, it will tell you what the number is. 46 states now have some form of legalized cannabis. That includes Texas, where the state's low THC medical marijuana program is expanding. CBD oil is now sold widely, and farmers will soon be able to grow hemp. Y'all have nothing illegal inside this car, nothing you're not supposed to have inside this car. Law enforcement officers are increasingly interested in how to tell if someone's ingested too much. Well, you can turn a legal substance into now you're breaking the law. In all 50 states, a driver with a .08 blood alcohol concentration level is legally impaired. There's no equivalent benchmark for THC yet. But as tests become quicker and more widely available, police expect to get a better idea of where the limit should be. You're too intoxicated to be out on the road safely. Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Police currently rely on blood testing to detect THC. Uh, THC. That requires a warrant, and then they got to take a trip to the hospital. By the time that's done and the blood is drawn, a suspect's THC level will usually drop.